You guys, I thought I should just let you know before I get into this video. I was saying the name of the shampoo and conditioner wrong. It's Pantene Repair and Protect, not Pantene Prepare and Protect. So, yeah, that's just a disclaimer. I'm saying the name of the shampoo and conditioner wrong. Okay, so guys, so today I have a review. If you saw by the thumbnail and read my title, it is on Pantene's Prepare and Protect Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm going to talk about each one of these products. And tell you how I think about them. My last um, kind of like review on anything, it has like 200 like views on it, and that's like my most watched video. But today I'm going to be talking about Pantene's Prepare and Protect on transitioning hair, hair, and how I liked it, and if I liked it. Also, if you guys like my setup, I'm going to be getting backdrops soon, so that's coming also if you like the sound quality let me know because i kind of have a mic so yeah we're gonna get into the video so first the shampoo the shampoo as you guys know i am transitioning and before i try any product i always research it on youtube because i want to see how the product works in all textures of hair all the way from caucasian asian african and everything like I, I like i researched as much as i can before i bought the product and i've seen this product several several times and i just decided that i was going to get it so i got it and i didn't feel like it stripped my hair or anything i felt like it was very moisturizing and the smell it smells kind of like what shampoo regular smells like like soap or kind of like a dove kind of smell Mind you, this is my first time ever choosing Pantene. Both of these were $5 a piece, and I got them from Dollar General, but I felt like this was like really, really good, and I really, really liked it. And on to the conditioner. So the conditioner is not a leave-in, but I kind of left a little bit in. I conditioned twice. This kind of has like water in it, so I I conditioned twice when I did use the conditioner because I felt like um, since I was doing my hair like this, I wanted something to make my hair actually really, really soft. And the first time that I had did it, I used about a half a dollar amount of, um, so just like this much in my hand, like a little bit in the palm of my hand. And I felt like it was very moisturizing and my hair was super, super soft. And then like the curls that I have at the roots of my hair is just like a pow, like it moisturized and it did it how I wanted it to do and then when I did it the second time it just made my hair feel like butter like honestly my hair feels so good and the second time that I washed it out I didn't wash it all the way out like I got a majority of it out but my hair is super super soft and it's never felt this soft before and I'm super super happy all I feel like I need now is a nice leave-in and leave-in conditioner and then a nice deep conditioner for when because I don't want to um shampoo my hair every time I wash my hair because that's not really good for your hair because it's just stripping and I say I'll, I'll shampoo like every two times that I wash my hair but these two products work amazing I feel and I would definitely repurchase the conditioner I'm not sure about the shampoo I'm going to give the shampoo a couple more tries I liked what it did but I'm gonna give the shampoo a couple more tries before I actually dive into it but it has my hair super, super bouncy and it's really soft. Like, my hair's never felt this soft before. And yeah, this is a flexi rod set. You guys have seen me do flexi rod sets on our channel. I think I'm gonna do another one because why not? So that's gonna come up for you guys. And um, yeah, so this is it. That's all for this review hopefully you guys enjoyed it and leave me comments in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do any more like product reviews i definitely definitely will i'm looking for a good winter lotion currently currently i'm just using hold on currently this is what i am using on my body so i like it it's baby lotion but at the same time like it makes me super super soft and people already say i'm super soft but this is the baby lotion that i'm using so so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on different lotions I can use for the winter time, because I have not dry skin, but my skin does get irritated really quickly on super scented things. So that's just a reminder. That was all for this 
review hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i will be doing more reviews in the future um i just felt like since i used it last night this is something you guys should do unless it was uploaded so i was like hey why not so thank you guys so much for watching this video subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you definitely in the next one bye guys